Hi, it's Miss Sussler. I'm back. All right, today we're going to focus a little bit more on tutorials and the kind of help that's available, some of the um, placement choices that you have. What we talked about yesterday was stuff that you can do from study hall. You can be placed in a study hall and you can still go get help on your writing. You can still go get help on your math. You can still go get help from your for your iPad. But what we're going to talk about today is placements. So remember we talked about how you can change your seminar placement. That's what we're talking about today. So in three weeks, remember you're sitting tight for three weeks until the admin presentations are over. At that point, you'll be able to have a little more choice about where you are during seminar. So I want to talk about those placement options that you have today. The first one I'm going to talk about is program and enrichment seminars. So a program seminar is IB, DPEA, theater, um, jazz band, jazz choir. Most of you who want to be in those are probably already in those groups right now. If you're not and you feel like you should be, you need to fill out one of those blue forms. Okay. Enrichment seminars. We actually don't have that many of them right now. If you know that you would much rather be outdoors, for example, you should definitely talk to Mr. Gleason in A3 about signing up for his permaculture seminar. That's one that's full every single year. We will also later be opening a seminar where you can go and walk around the track. So if you're interested in that, there is a place on the DP website where you can sign up and let us know that you're interested in an enrichment, um, if there's an enrichment you'd like to see. But you can also just fill out a blue seminar change form and we will know how many people are interested in that. Now let's talk about tutorials. A tutorial is subject specific, which means if you're struggling in physics, you can go and get help with just physics. If you're struggling in math too, you can go and get help in just math too. It's supervised by a teacher and there's a group of peer tutors in the room who will work with you to help you complete your work and to understand concepts better. The thing about a tutorial is that when you're in there, all you're doing is that subject. Okay, even if you finished your homework, you're still working on preparing for a test, reviewing things for that particular class. If you have a D or an F on a grade report, you will probably find yourself, surprise, just moved to one of these tutorials. And if you feel like that's not a good placement for you, again, you can use the seminar change request form to, um, to start a conversation about whether it really is or is not a good placement for you. If you want to be in a tutorial because you have a C and gosh darn it, you don't want a C, you want an A, you can request that from your teacher and have your teacher let us know. Now I'd like to talk about the DP PASS program. The PASS program, which stands for Peer Academic Support Services. Past students volunteer during seminar to help their peers in a tutorial, a subject specific tutorial, or they might be in a drop-in center, or they might actually be working as mentors in a guided studies classroom or a special education life skills classroom. So um, if you're someone who really likes to help other people and you feel like you have some room in your life and you'd really like some community service during the school day, um, you would be a really good person to be a tutor or a mentor. A tutor is someone who's usually focused, like who has a really strong skill set in one particular area and is willing to focus on that. And a mentor is someone who is a little bit more of a studenting coach. So someone who will sit with their peers and talk about, hey, let's get your binder organized, or what do you need to get done today? Let's prioritize, or hey, let me go talk to that teacher with you so we can see if we can get that test made up. Um, so a mentor is someone who kind of comes alongside another student and just coaches them and is a friend and a helper and an encourager um, in getting all those grades up. If you decide to be in the PASS program during seminar, we can offer you a full hour of community service for every 40 minute period that you're actually on duty helping other students. So that's one of the benefits as well of the PASS program, in addition to, of course, how good it feels to be helping others. There are a couple of other ways that you can be helping others outside of seminar that I'm just going to list right now for your information. Um, First of all, we do have after school tutoring in the library. And if you are interested in being an after school tutor, you should go and talk to Miss Magner in the library whenever the library is open. Writing Center is also open after school. It's open during seminar, but also after school. During seminar, you need to make an appointment to come and see someone in the Writing Center, but after school, you can just drop in. So come in anytime after school if you need help on any subject. And if you are interested in tutoring, um, go and talk to Miss Magner for after school. And I'm the one you get to talk to if you're interested in the Writing Center. The other way that you can become a tutor, if you're more interested in getting paid, 
aid perhaps than getting community service is you can go into the counseling center and ask to be put on the tutor list that they have in the counseling center. So if a parent comes in and says, hey, I really want to get my kid a math tutor, do you have a list of tutors? They say, why, yes, we do. And if your name is on that list and your phone number, the parents can call you and you can arrange a tutoring setup with that family. So now, if you are not at all interested in serving in the past program, if you don't have all A's and B's and you don't really feel like you have time in your life to be helping others during seminar because you need to take care of your own business, you can now quietly take out your work and get started on your study hall. But if you are in any way interested in serving as a tutor or a mentor in any capacity, or if you are right now actually on a tutoring list and you're not super happy with the place where you are right now, it's really important that you tune in and listen to some information I'm about to give you. I'm gonna give you a second to sort of settle back in and be ready to listen. Okay, past students and potential past students. Some of you this year are actually already placed as tutors and mentors. If you are happy where you are, you can also actually get to work. But if you know that you would like to be doing something different, or if you just, you knew you wanted to be placed but you didn't get placed yet, um, or you've never done this before and you wanna check it out, what you are going to do is you are going to, right now, take out your iPad, and you're gonna to go to dphs.org, and you're gonna click on the seminar box. I'm gonna give you a minute to do that, and I'll demonstrate while you do it too. What you will see is a link that says, volunteer for the PASS program. I want you to click on that and fill it out. When you do that, what's going to happen is it's going to tell me that I need to call you into the EPAC in week four of, um, of the school year. So remember, after all of these um, admin presentations with the different classes, 9, 10, 11, and 12, the following week, I will be in the EPAC and I will be calling in all students who are interested in tutoring and mentoring and I will be working with you to get you um, to get you matched and placed and trained so that if you fill in that form that I just told you um, I will send you a pass that you can use either Wednesday or Thursday of that week you can be a one-day tutor or a two-day tutor or mentor, and um, you just come on in, and when you come, we will sort through all the details, and I will let you know what needs we have. You can also look on the website, and you can see that there is a button that says needs that we have right now, and you can click on that and see, oh, yeah, I could definitely do this, and maybe think a little bit in advance about what kind of thing you might most like to do during seminar. Thank you, everybody, for giving your attention to all of this information. The last thing that I wanna say that I think is super important is that no matter what time of year it is, no matter what time of day it is, if you have a question about how to use seminar to um, improve your life, you can always go to dphs.org, hit seminar, and click dphs.org, seminar, click. All the information that you need is there. See you around, DP.